oh my freaking gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh I already knew this was gonna happen but that's neither here nor there because I am just so happy that we might not be seeing Madara anymore but it would as much as I don't like Madara it would kind of suck to just him to really be gone like that so hi <laughs> Alright, hey you guys, it is Subaki Swag, and I'm coming to you with my review of Naruto, chapter 679, the... I'm getting to it. The beginning of everything. This chapter, <laughs> this chapter, as most of y'all know, we saw in the last chapter that Black Zetsu stabbed Madara pretty much through the heart and started spreading himself through Madara. This inadvertently caused, is causing, it caused Madara to become Kaguya. So, we might not be seeing Madara anymore. Yes! But, um, I don't know. I would feel kind of mad if that was seriously just the end of that and that was all that was going to happen to Madara. So, in that, I am slightly disappointed by this chapter, but the fact that Madara pretty much got taken over by Black Zetsu and we might be finally having some closure with Obito and Kakashi, and the fact that Kage is just so fucking badass for no reason, it uh, this chapter was interesting. And also, the one thing that threw me off the most was at the very end when um, Kaguya pretty much said that she needed them to stop destroying her her nursery pretty much for white zetsus and she turned the ground into fucking lava. How the fuck does that work? No! What? <sighs> oh my gosh. Kaguya should not be that strong. And they even said that she's on a completely different level than Madara. So why, like, I don't understand Black Zetsu's reasoning. I mean, I guess he does. Because pretty much everybody who's under the internal Tsukiyomi are going to be turning to White Zetsus. Which is how the White Zetsu was made to begin with. Because Kaguya took the people that she put under the internal Tsukiyomi and she didn't kill them. She just turned them into white Zetsus. So I guess in a way that is possible, but I don't understand, like, I just, I'm not understanding Black Zetsu's reasoning because he really, it's not affecting him in any way, shape, or fashion. So I don't understand why he pretty much just turned his back on Madara when Madara pretty much got them to this point. So this, this chapter has made me angry and happy at the same time. So I just, I don't know how to feel about this chapter. Maybe I'm just missing something. But for real, it's just ridiculous how fucking amazing Kaguya is. And the fact that she can turn the ground into fucking lava right from under their feet is just, it is a little too much for me. I thought that Madara was fucking OP, but he ain't got shit on Kaguya. And I can say that with the utmost certainty. So it looks like things aren't looking real good for Naruto, Sasuke, um, Sakura, and Kakashi, and even Obito now at this point, and even possibly Madara, because Madara is not even Madara anymore. He's Kaguya, so... Things are not looking real great for them right now, but this is this chapter. And Black Zetsu, he is just a fucking asshole. I never liked Black Zetsu, but I don't know. Kaguya, she was looking pretty badass in this chapter, so I guess there's this ups and its downs for this chapter. But as a whole, I guess I can say I liked it because Kaguya went in without having to go in. So, things I am looking forward. <laughs> and I haven't been able to say that in a while. I'm actually looking forward to seeing what is going to happen in the next chapter. So, as always, I would, I would love to hear what you guys feel or how you guys feel about this chapter. And just, uh, this, this chapter, this, I don't know. I'm, I wasn't ready. But, 
As always, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And this is Subaki Swag saying adios.